there's going to be one less class act on the floor, which is why, Jeff, we're going to give you this time to thank all those people that you really, your heart feels you need to give a shout out to. Wow, um, I hope you can give me an hour, but yeah, this is so many people I want to thank, but first of all, first and foremost, I want to thank God and my family. I think without them, these last 15 years, it would be impossible. Um, especially for the for, for what happened the other day with the retirement and retiring of the jersey. Thank you to Boss Fred and the whole Alaska Corporation just for just for honoring me like that. It really is truly a, a blessed and, and a great honor to have your number retired. Um, I feel really special, so thank you to them. And just to all the PBA fanatics out there, especially the ones who are supporting me. Um, and the PBA, thank you for, for all your love and coming into every game. And I'm really going to miss everybody, so thank you. Well, thanks a lot, Jeff. Now he'll be taking on another fight, and he will surely be missing. If he's still smoking, the court <laughs> is still filled with a little blood, and a little passion, and a little of everything that makes the PBA semifinals always very interesting. If we take a look at the series and at the way it has gone so far, it is talk and text in the lead three games today. They can close it out here today. But Alaska, which won games one uh, as well as three, they're saying, well, we still can win this one. But when you look at the, the way things have gone, if you're talking text, you're concerned because in this game, your defense hasn't held up. And, and, and when it seems that Alaska gets some points on the board, a lot of points on the board, that's when they struggle. So Talking Tech really wanted to turn things around because uh, it hasn't been their day so far. Exactly. Time to go to www.jasonweb.com. <laughs> web page. Uh, web page. For the Alaska Aces, we talked about them getting to the free throw line, and it has been a mismatch. 13 to 18 compared to 4 out of 5 for Talking Tech. Talking Tech. Not really a team that gets to the free throw line a lot, but yes. these are easy baskets that Alaska's getting right there. That's difference of nine points, sayang naman yan. So they have to not allow Alaska to get to the free throw line by not giving up cheap fouls. Next up, make the rebound scout. We're talking about Alaska. They have three more rebounds than Talking Tech uh, for a total of 24 rebounds. Plus, they have eight second chance points compared to only two on the part of Talking Tech. So that one going the way of Alaska as well. Finally get Cyrus and Reynal on that side of Baguio. Nine points and two blocks. That's a big check mark for them. But Hugnatan so far scoreless in today's ball game. When you look at the other side, Seth, when you look at Talk and Tech, it talks about how they need to create early looks and uh, everything has been difficult for them because zero fast break points so far and they have six turnover points uh, they would like to see more of that they talked about being able to run so far that hasn't been hasn't been the case uh, next up let jimmy create jimmy has created a masterful artwork so far uh -huh, here yes. in, the, in the first half 20 points so far for jimmy alapag but he needs some help from the rest of his teammates and finally for talking tech they have to stop simpson from dominating Simpson with 15 points and 10 rebounds. So you have to compare that with the import on the other side, which is Sean Daniels. Sean Daniels has 12 points and 4 rebounds. So although Simpson is having a solid game with 15 points and 10 rebounds, Sean Daniels not far behind, but Sean Daniels has to work on his rebounding. And again, both team captains were summoned to the middle of the court. And uh, referees... Uh, Giving them new instructions. So boxing is not yet done. We can begin on new instructions for referees and give them a new task six rounds or five rounds. Well, we'll go with this. Now, if you're given everything that has happened, Jason, if you are, are Alaska, you're happy, you're in front. Okay, we lost an 18-point lead, but we recovered and we didn't get sucked into the vortex of the passion. While on the other hand, talking text with some flagrant fouls and a technical foul being called against them. How can you? handle these things given the emotions that are on the court right now but it, it's really good that they had that uh, we had that halftime break to try to, for everyone to really cool themselves down i'm sure the coaches were able to talk to talk to them and even the, the referees gave a talk to them and uh everything should uh, i would think really simmer down at the moment uh, with that good what 12 minute break that we have during halftime this is scoop back to the corner. William tries to bring it in closer. The bank shot does not work. 
11 point lead by the Aces, hoping to tie up the series. Send it into a seventh deciding game on Wednesday as Maggio misses. Of course, if you're talking text, want to play somebody else, and most especially in the finals, rather than give Alaska another chance to breathe again. Here's Castro. But Jason Castro, he has proven in the last two games that he has been making that shot. But still, Alaska still wants to make sure and find out if today he's going to make that shot. Because you saw right there, Silas Baggio going under the screen and giving that shot to Jason Castro. Who pocketed 13 and 18 in the last two games. Then audio crossover dribble. Trying to lose Alapag, who doesn't want to budge. But there is a foul. They give it to Alapag and they'll count as his third. Eric and Oreo and Jimmy Alapag almost seeming, seemingly like they're trying to fight it out for who's the better point guard for this season. You know, Eli Tenorio uh, really made a name up for himself this year as one of the premier point guards and Jimmy Alapaga definitely not willing to give up that throne that easily. Of course, J.J. Helterbrand, the other point guard that you would say in that triumvirate, not really one of his great seasons after coming from an MVP. Also had to deal with an injury and uh, had to get himself back into playing shape, uh, J.J. Helterbrand. Just a great bounce by Sean Daniels with two men on him, got it to go. And Sean Daniels has been very efficient in this game. Only one miss from the field, seven out of eight. And two minutes all set to go by us here in the third quarter. The dribble broken up. Castro with a quick hand. Alapak asking for it. But Castro has other ideas. Tim Cohn has seen enough. And it's a 30-second handy fix timeout. Handy fix on first aid number by Mo Bonzo. Seals all. Except a little tinkering being done by Coach Chotre as to his lineup. Instead of starting out with Mac Mac Cardona, which they have done in this game, they switch it up to Jason Castro because Cardona in this game still scoreless. Jason Castro rewards his coaching staff by giving them four points here in the third. Six to two is the blitz so far engineered by talking text. Look at that feed and there, there were two men on Daniels on this particular play, but he defied them both. Quick learner, uh that see Jason Castle. Remember a while ago, we planned to see Cyrus Baggio. And he decided to blow by them in one swoop. 56-49 is our current score. Glad you're with us this afternoon. Then I to out to say hello, hello, with Bacolod. My hapunda. There is the pass outside. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Castro says gotcha. Bowing, bowing na para kay Jason Castro. Talked about him getting blocked early in this game. That one, he blocked side of Baguio and then scored on the other end. Quits. And he's trying to ball up from behind, but going to the well a little too often. Results in a foul, his second of the game. But tremendous effort. It starts out with defense right here after the kickout pass. Closing out and getting that block and then using his quickness, not allowing allowing Cyrus Baguio to catch up. Oh. There's Baguio fast uh, developing a duel with Castro that is tapped outside with four remaining on the 24 second shot clock. Patricia will join us. You know, Alaska's worried about Alapag and his transition and they're worried about their own execution against the zone. They take bad shots and give Talk and Tech a fast break opportunity, but Coach Tim Cohn is remaining positive, just like Joe DeVance. Did you know that whenever Joe DeVance is sporting a corn roll just as this one, unlike his afro, he had a 100% batting average in the quarterfinals and here in the semis, except for game two, he has an 80% batting average when he's got this hairstyle. For others, it's the shoes. For him, it's the hair. Sev? I have no argument against that. We've seen that uh, in the course of this series. Thank you, Patricia. In the meantime, Baggio decides to pass off at the last moment. Could be a Castro foul here. 